before Stephen A. Smith was famous. Who doesn't know Stephen A. Smith by now, albeit do you know about his prior life? Does it the former life of a famous person intrigue you? Well, if it does, this video is totally for you. So welcome back to Hoops Today. In this video, we'll be talking everything about Stephen A., so let's dive right in. Stephen A. Smith is an American sports reporter, radio host, and TV host. He's best known for being a commentator on ESPN sports show First Take. He was born in the Bronx, New York. He grew up in Hollis and went to the Thomas Edison High School. After high school, he went to college at the Fashion Institute of Technology. After a year, he dropped out and went to Winston-Salem State University. When he was in college, he started writing about sports for the school newspaper, which was called the News August. Later, he became a sports reporter for well-known papers like the New York Daily News and the Philadelphia Inquirer. In the middle of the 2000s, he began working in radio and TV. Before becoming a regular commentator on the show First Take on ESPN, he had previously worked with the channel in a variety of capacities, including making guest appearances on some ESPN shows. At the time, he works as a feature writer for the Philadelphia Inquirer, and he's also the host of a radio program that goes by the name The Stephen A. Smith Show. He's notorious for making provocative remarks, which have led to a great deal of conflict for him throughout his life. Early life and upbringing, Stephen Anthony Smith began his journey through the world on October 14, 1967, when he was born in the Bronx District of New York City. He was the fifth kid out of a total of six to be born to African-American parents who came from an average income home. Stephen's father was a very talented baseball player, and this may be one of the reasons why Stephen has always had an interest in sports and has been playing basketball since he was a child. He was the only brother of four sisters during his childhood and he had a sibling who passed away in 1992. Stephen attended Thomas Edison High School in Queens, New York, and was well academically there, earning high marks. Additionally, he was a strong basketball player and participated in the sport during his whole high school career. Stephen went to a public college in Manhattan after he graduated from high school. He went to the Fashion Institute of Technology, but before he graduated from the Institute, he got a basketball scholarship to go to Winston-Salem University in North Carolina, which was a historically black university. There, he joined the Omega Psi Phi fraternity, which was a black fraternity. He was a key player on his college basketball team, and his coach, Clarence Gaines, is in the Basketball Hall of Fame. He was active in the field and also tried his hand at journalism by writing for the university newspaper, The News Argus. In one of the columns, he said that their coach, Gaines, was no longer able to lead the team because he was still sick, so he's always been known for the bold way he writes about the news. Stephen A. started working at the Winston-Salem Journal as a clerk in the sports section right after he graduated from college. He worked there for a while and then went to work for the New York Daily News. He also worked for the Greensboro News and Record for a short time. When he started working for the Philadelphia Inquirer in 1994, it was one of the best things to happen to his career at the time. First, he wrote about NBA games, and then he was asked to write about the Philadelphia 76ers on their beat. He also started writing a general sports column at some point. In 2005, he switched from writing for print to working in television and radio. In 2005, on August 1st, he started his hour-long show on ESPN called Quite Frankly with Stephen A. Smith. The show was called Quite Frankly, and it was called that because it was very honest. After two years, the show was taken off the air in 2007. The format of the show was to talk about things like sports, politics, and current events. By that time, he was a semi-famous TV sports personality, so he was invited to be a guest on a few sports talk shows like Jim Rome is Burning and Pardon the Interruption. In April 2005, he also started working in radio. He had a three-year show on WEPN in New York. In April 2008, he stopped doing the radio show so he could focus more on his work as a TV journalist. In 2007, he left the Philadelphia Inquirer after working there for a long time as the main sports columnist. Instead, he became the general assignment reporter. But things didn't get better, and the relationship ended when Stephen A. started his blog in 2008. But in 2010, Stephen was put back in his old job as long as he deleted all of his personal political views that he had written about on his website. Later, he started to be on the ESPN show Sports Center on Sunday mornings, but that didn't last long. In the middle of 2009, Stephen A. announced that he was leaving ESPN for good. ESPN said he left because they didn't agree on everything, and another source confirmed that the channel and Stephen tried to negotiate but couldn't come to a deal that worked for both sides. In January 2010, Stephen took over for Steve Sasbin as the host of the morning show on Fox Sports Radio. Stephen said on the show that LeBron James and Dwayne Wade would join the Miami Heat in 2010, and he was right. In 2011, he had another big step forward in his career and he became an FSR NBA insider. He quit his morning radio show because of this. 
in the early 2010s, his on and off relationship with ESPN kept going. In April 2012, ESPN announced that Steven would be back on the channel, this time for a show called First Take. He was hired to be on the show five days a week, which is a full-time job. He was supposed to be on the show in a different format called Embrace Debate, where he would debate the show's other host, Skip Bayless. He was mostly known for how honest he was in his commentary, which got him into a few controversies. During a debate on First Take in 2014 about the charges against a football player, he said that women can cause domestic abuse. Steven was suspended for a week by ESPN because of this comment, which caused a lot of anger. In March 2015, he said something else bold, this time about Chip Kelly, the coach of the Philadelphia Eagles. Steven said that when he chose players for his team, he was being racist. Chip denied the accusations against him, and later, Steven said that he had never called Chip a racist. During the 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup, he caused more trouble when he said something sexist about the players not wanting to mess up their hair. Steven later said it was all a joke, and he later sent out a series of tweets to say sorry. He also started hosting boxing matches, and when ESPN took over as the TV home for the UFC in 2019, he became a UFC commentator. He also said some things about the Oscars in 2020. He's been on fictional TV shows. In 2007, he made his acting debut on the show General Hospital as a guest star. He later said that he had been a fan of the show for a long time, which is why he agreed to be a TV reporter on one episode. But in 2016, he also started playing a character named Brick on the show. Brick was a recurring character, and he showed up frequently. He also has been in a lot of ads for Oberto Beef. In the ads, he was shown with several famous athletes. In 2007, he played a supporting character named Alan in the movie I Think I Love My Wife, which starred Chris Rock. The movie did not do well at the box office or with critics. And talking about his personal life, Stephen A. Smith is single right now. He hasn't talked about his private life in public too much, but he did say in an interview, though, that he was once engaged and he has two daughters. And he lives in northern New Jersey right now. Stephen has denied all the claims that he has ever used drugs. He said that when he was young, he saw people who were addicted to drugs, and that kept him away from drugs his whole life. And that's going to do it for today's video. Hey, we sincerely hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and share our video with those friends and family that you know who are big basketball fans. Do you know anyone else that's a big fan of Stephen A. Smith in particular? A fan of journalism or a big fan of basketball? Hey, if you know somebody that would be interested in this video, make sure you share it with them. And also, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if I could ask you to do one more thing before you walk out that door, make sure you press that bell icon. That way you're always updated of our latest updates on our channel. We always want you to stay notified with us, so make sure you hit that bell icon on your way out the door. Like, share, subscribe, bell icon. You can handle all that, can't you? Hey, thanks for spending time out of your busy day to hang out with us today, and we'll look forward to seeing you in our next video. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.